croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. Lure angling, it's reactive. You stood there, you're doing the work, you're putting the lure out in front of the fish. So let's go through a little bit of the gear. To start with, I'm using a bait casting rod, bait casting reel, it's fished orientated that way round. Trigger grip underneath, so as your fingers just slot to stop the rod from rotating in your hand as you're reeling the lures back in. This one's roughly seven and a half foot and it's got an amazing casting range of half an ounce to four ounces. So it'll throw everything from nice lightweight twin tails through to 20, 28 centimeter shads. It can handle all the different weights. It's lovely and lightweight because you're holding it the whole time it's in your hand. Attached to the rod is a bait casting reel. It's different to the spinning style reels. The reel sits on top, the handle is to the side, and it's almost a direct crank. There's only one angle on it, so you feel everything. Loaded onto the reel, nice bright fluorescent yellow, 80 pound. The reason for such strong line isn't to drag the fish in or to save the lures, it's when you're casting with big lures repeatedly, 20, 30 pound braid is not up to it. So a nice heavy braid for throwing heavier lures. Attached to the other end of the braid is obviously the lure, the bit of rubber, the gummy fish, whatever you want to call it. So this is a very simple, just a twin tail. The tails will split and spread in the water, giving a nice rippling action. The hook that I'm using on it is rigged for weedless. As you can see, there's a weight halfway around the shank, which will take the lure down. When a fish takes it, it literally compresses it there and the hook pops proud, fish on. Simple as that, theoretically. So all we do with it is cast it out. I'll let it flutter all the way down to the bottom, feeling tight line in case it gets any hits on the way down. When it hits the bottom, I'll then start a slow, steady retrieve, bringing it back a couple of foot above the bottom. We'll try that a couple of times and then maybe change the depth it runs at, go a bit deeper, go a bit shallower, speed it up, slow it down, whatever method we want. But basically the aim is to put that in front of the pike and get it to take it. Now we all know with pike, they've got sharp teeth. So the most important thing when you're out there is make certain you're using a good quality leader whether it's wire or fluorocarbon. If you're gonna use fluorocarbon, it's got to be 1.1 or above in thickness. You want a good, thick, 120 pound breaking strain fluorocarbon. Nice long length. I tend to use it on the bigger lures where this isn't gonna be anywhere near the mouth anyway. Um, on the smaller lures where they're gonna engulf, I will still use wire but on the bigger lures, prefer the fluorocarbon, lasts longer, safer for the fish, won't cut into the flesh if they roll on it, bomb proof. And that is all you need to go out and catch fish. Discover fishing in Wales 